Hello, and welcome to the lesson before the lesson. Today, I want to pay tribute to a man who developed the underlying math theories used in nearly every branch of computer science, from circuit engineering to web design. Computer science, the golden arena of endless well-paying jobs, needs problem solvers from all backgrounds, but appears surrounded by a thick wall of incomprehensible ones and zeros, self-righteous nerd minions, and endless differential equation nightmares. This video textbook attempts to create an entrance through that wall by teaching programming basics in the language of real people. This video is a lecture about computer science beyond just normal programming. To watch this week's lecture covering programming tools and methods, click here. And to watch a real-life coding example in three different languages, click here. George Boole was really cool. Rather than just following in his father's footsteps and making shoes for the rest of his life, he decided to become a schoolteacher. As a poor common British boy, he had very little opportunity for a formal education. So just like you, he began teaching himself. He sought tutors when he could, but most of his education was studying on his own time. Despite all that, he was able to support his family with his first school teaching job at age 16. He was a self-made scholar and active community member in several areas. However, his lack of formal training in mathematics motivated him to spend much of the rest of his life exploring the subject. He was very interested in how everyday logic and reason could be enhanced by algebraic theorems. And of course, like all great works, Boole's most notable contribution isn't entirely his own. It's based on the works of several great mathematicians before him, and even philosophers like Aristotle. But the theorems that we now admiringly call Boolean algebra were refined and published by Boole in 1854, nearly 90 years before they were used to develop some of the first computers. Boolean algebra is a very interesting kind of math. It's a list of theorems that handles logical statements rather than numbers. And really, any logical statement that can be evaluated as either true or false can be plugged into Boolean algebra. These statements can be as abstract as a plus b equals c, or as concrete as my dog has fleas. Early computer scientists figured out that it can be even as simple as whether a bit is storing a 1 or a 0. Pretty slick, huh? Yeah, here are all these early computer scientists trying to figure out how to represent the real world with just two states, and there's already a whole branch of mathematics devoted to representing the whole world in two states, true or false. These theorems become really important for pretty much all of computing, but they're mostly used while designing hardware circuits that handle binary. We won't need these theorems in this course, but we will use the Boolean operators AND, OR, and NOT. We'll talk a little bit more about these in the lesson, but now you know why Boole is so cool. Mm -hmm. 